And this is another discovery that's bigger than gravitational waves. So there is new evidence out there that's going to invalidate a lot of THC testing that's done after people die from accidents or natural causes. So, you know, they have these studies and they try and say like, oh, what caused the accident? What caused the death? Right. And they look at THC and they're like, they report these like, oh my God levels of THC, right? Really? Yeah. So like they'll look at roadside accidents and they'll take, uh, you know, people go to the morgue and then they'll take blood samples. And these THC levels are like really high and people were confused like, wow. In these car accidents? Yeah. Or when with people have THC in their system at the time of death. And what the researchers found out, because they were asked to determine, does marijuana play a role in death, like in Colorado? And they came back with, we can't really answer that question because it's not scientifically possible. Because Jeez. when you take a sample after death, the levels go sky high because the body's breaking down and releasing it from fat. So I found this important because we hear about this all the time where people do these tests about you know, what drugs were involved at the scene of yep. this death. Marijuana was there, and it was there in really high amounts. So right. the person may not have smoked for a week. But it was the gunshots that killed, killed him. him. <laughs> he was very high, though. <laughs>